Hi, it's Helen Underwood from Underwood Training First Aid again. Um, this little video is just to show you how to use a pocket mask, which is something that we've taught a lot of clients on many of our courses, especially those that relate to AED training, where CPR would be a definite. So this is a pocket mask. They come in a little clamshell. So what we need to do is open them up and you'll find there's a little nozzly thing that needs to point up to the sky. And then we're going to push up underneath to push the mask into a dome. Now, what I always say to people as a top tip is if you push on the dome, you'll flat pack it again. So make sure you're pressing on this nice squidgy cuff. Now, the mask is triangle shaped and the idea is that the base of the mask goes between the casualty's chin and their bottom lip. So if I just turn Fred around here so you can see, I'm going to pop the mask on in that location and I'm going to roll the mask onto Fred's face and what you may find for some people is it covers over the eyes and that doesn't matter provided you can actually get a decent seal. I'm going to use the finger and thumb of my hand at the top of the head end on the actual cuff to get my head tilt. I'm going to use a couple of fingers underneath the chin there to lift up and I'm going to clamp the mask down. Now I'm incredibly lazy, I never really bother to use this elastic which you can put around the casualty's head if you want to, but try and avoid getting it underneath the mask as it creates an extra smile line for you to work against. Your hands will be around as much of the mask as you can manage and then what you're actually going to do is do two short breaths in, no more than a second each, do you let the chest fall between each breath and that will give your casualty some ventilation. If you're doing compressions and ventilations with CPR, we're straight into our 30 compressions and then onto two breaths for CPR in the outside everyday public setting rather than hospital setting. Unfortunately, I can't count and squash and talk at the same time. So 28, 29, 30. And back to compressions. And by leaving your mask on your casualty's face, what you find is much quicker to get that next set of breaths in. Now these masks are adult sized, but if you used it upside down on a child casualty and lifted the jaw into the mask, you can get enough of a seal to actually get a chest rise on a smaller casualty. It doesn't matter, as I said before, if these do air leak, it's just that you get sufficient breath. And because of this lovely one-way valve here, it puts you at very little risk of picking up any bugs that your casualty may have. So if you're considering doing full CPR, for me with a nut and peanut allergy, this is a must, otherwise I would choose to do compression only CPR for a casualty if I do not have a one-way mask or even better, a bag valve mask if you're a healthcare professional available. 